the day I was shot down, we were dive bombing some transports, uh, feeding supplies into to the Germans in southern France there. And uh, we were attacked by four Focke-Wolf 190s. And we just pulled off of the target of releasing our bombs and we were all split up. I pulled out of a break like this and I was up about almost 90 degrees and I saw this Focke-Wolf out here and I just ignored him. And about that time, I was hit. And it, believe it or not, it was a 90 degree deflection shot. Well, I, I knew I had no choice. The fire was so bad, I just rolled it upside down and I hoped that they were, wouldn't hit me again. And I just rolled it upside down and fell out and uh, hit the water and got tangled up in my parachute uh, lines. But it was February and it was, believe it or not, very cold. They talk about the Mediterranean being warm but it's just about like the Pacific Ocean at California, Los Angeles. It's cold in the winter time. And I was in the water uh, all, all afternoon and a German Corvette was searching for two of their pilots that uh, had gone down and they found me. Uh, they took me off and put me in a dungeon and. Uh, I lived with the rats for the next day or so, and then they took me out for interrogation. They took me to a real fine hotel that was a billeting spot for all the German officers in that area. And the families were with them the, in, in some cases, and they tied me up on a big column in, in the lobby with my hands behind me like this, and the wives would come by and spit on me and slap me. And I, I, I did understand why, because so many of them had lost their families and their homes and the bombings that, that we were doing. And I could see that that was probably pretty natural and, uh, and I endured it. <laughs> 